Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow pigeon guru Jeff Garrett and cameraman James Marchington. After an enforced 12 week lockdown, they're heading out on pest control duties, decoying pigeons down in Essex. Right, uh, well, uh, this is the first time out on the pigeon since uh, literally a week before the first lockdown. Um, the uh, state that I work on, they took their own policy on it and we was all on sort of like low profile sort of jobs and uh, pigeon shooting and rabbit shooting was one they just asked us just to hold back on. So um, this is the first time I've been on the pigeons now for probably best part of 10 weeks now, 11 weeks. One, because I've just had a serious knee operation, and two, obviously with all the lockdown period. So uh, we're following government guidelines um, and BAS guidelines, NGO guidelines and advice. And also I have spoke to Essex Police uh, and on the subject of pest control, on my place I work, uh, they're happy and uh, no problem at all with it. So what we're doing today, we're, we're on rape. Uh, we've got some chewed up rape on that field there. There's a corner of chewed up rape behind the hedge in front of us. And over here on my right shoulder, there's a big corner here and up the side here where the pigeons have been getting on it. Um, I've got a few decoys just on the right hand side here. I've got a couple of decoys out there. We've got a strong, strong southwesterly wind, maybe westerly wind blowing straight down the hedge. So hopefully uh, we're intercepting anything that's coming through here to land on any one of these three fields. The fact that we're underneath these trees as well. Um, so if they're not sure the decoys or what they're doing, they are tending to come into the trees. So we get a, you know the odd shot with the 410 as they're coming into the trees. So all in all, we just sit down. We've been here now probably half an hour and uh, we've probably got into double figures, um, but the wind is very strong. They're not the easiest of things today. And we're following government guidelines, um, social distancing, and the fact is that one member outside your family can now meet. Again, long as we're following the social distancing two meters. Um, I'm in my little hide here. James, cameraman, is behind me. He's got his own little hide there. So we're two metres apart. We've got two hides, separate hides here. And we're just simply now just set up here. Um, oh. I shan't shoot at these, I'm just going to let them come in, so... To the left, well, I might have a 410 shot. I'll tell you what, one turn of their wing and they're gone 50 yards.
movement about now. There's some just sort of, I know they're going that way, but there's a bit more movement now. When I was, went to pick them out, there's three or four come, would have come in, but not with me standing in the deep. Now there's another one coming up the ditch. I'll tell you what, now they're coming into land, that's twice now I've clipped that branch, I'm trying to shoot them here. I'm coming up the ditch, look, see it? That might come in. A bit of a clear up. In front, James, James. In front, in front. And again, look, 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 look. Half an hour of that coming like that makes yeah, a lot of dip. Yeah. But it is that is coming up to the like it's half four, it's coming up now to yeah. you know some real sort of should oh, be. Yeah. That's quite a productive area sort of through here when they come over that motorway. When you get it right. In the takes, right. I reckon that wind's getting stronger, isn't it? Two hammering it down from the left hand side. I don't know what they're going to do. It's going like now. 
Well, they might come in, Jay. Glad they turned and decoyed because they were doing about 90 mile an hour going that way. There's another one there. Look. Coming over the corner of that hedge, James. Yep. I'll we'll definitely give it till six o'clock and then we'll start packing up. That's all right with you, yeah? Oh, yeah? Might get another half a dozen come in, but... I'll have a bit of a clear, last clear up and then we'll... That, didn't, that hasn't materialised like I thought. I didn't, you know, I didn't expect that flight line to just cut out behind that pylon. Yeah, it's sort of like swinging up through there. I did expect them, uh, you know, come through here, but you know. Right. Well, uh, end of another day. Um, I say, like I said early on, first time um, in the hide. 11 weeks now since uh, New York and then this lockdown business. Um, been watching this field of rape. Well, there's, there's actually three fields of rape. We're in the corner of three fields and uh, got main decoys been out on the right hand side here. Had a few decoys out in the field here and we've been intercepting the birds as they've been coming up. Started off good. Uh, we had a, a rapid, um, probably. Well, first hour, um, and probably got about 15, 20, which was good. Then mid-afternoon, probably three to four o'clock, it went quite dead. Um, we could see another flight line had started where it was going way over the hill um, and beyond. Um, uh, we knew that was what was happening because about four o'clock, there was a huge cloud of pigeons coming back, back to the woods. Uh, and then from then onwards, it was um, like every now and then we'd get a little burst, you know, have probably 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, you know, five, 15 odd, 20 shots, and then go quiet again. You watch the flight line build up across the hill. So a little bit frustrating because I thought they would be coming through here, but I'm not actually sure what, I think we've shot over 60 here. Uh, I've got one or two more to pick up on the way down, on the way home. Um, and all in all, it's been a good afternoon. Could have been better if the flight line had carried on where I hoped it would have been. But, um, you know, we've been crop protection, which is the main aim. Uh, kept them off the field this afternoon. And um, it's nice to be back in the hide as well. The Browning X-Bolt Pro Carbon. Ultra light, ultra rigid and pinpoint accuracy. Your high standards are your greatest attribute. You won't accept failure. You need a gun that reflects your character, effective and results oriented. You never look for excuses. The X-Bolt Pro Carbon is designed for you. It handles like a featherweight, allowing you to push your active hunting limits. The rigidity of the stock gives you even greater accuracy. For more information, 
please visit the link in the description box below. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, you know the drill. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.